Hello everybody and welcome back to Blue Jay Acres. So it is the November the 1st and today we are kicking off what's for dinner in November. So I had brought this up and a lot of you seemed very happy about this idea. So what we're going to do in November is every night I am going to cook dinner with you guys. And I wanted to have it up at 6 o'clock every night, however, in order to keep it what's for dinner November, I'm going to be showing you what we're eating on the day that we're eating it. So that'll be today. I'm going to show you dinner tonight. So therefore, I am not going to have it ready um, by 6 o'clock as much as I wanted that to happen because there's some nights we don't even eat until 6 o'clock and then I still have to edit. Sometimes we don't eat until 7. So I would say expect it more around 8 or 9 o'clock at night. And um, we'll be more realistic on when we will have this up for you guys. So here's what we're going to do for November. Um, as far as what goes on around here on our homestead, uh, if you're new to our channel, we have a 10 acre homestead here in Ohio. And um, we are in the process of starting to try to provide for ourselves our own food as much as possible. We are not there yet. We still have a very long way to go. We're on our second year here at the homestead. And hopefully within five years, we will be at least 90%. 90% is what we're aiming for, self-sufficient. That being said, we are also on a tight budget. So I mentioned to you guys that for the month of November and December, we are only gonna spend $400 a month for our family. Now on a regular, every day, there are six of us here at the house. And many of you have asked if my mother still lives with me. She does not. She stays with my aunt mostly. She comes here a couple days a week usually. Um, but she actually bought a place, a condo that she's super excited about. So she will be moving out in the middle of this month completely. And so there's really just the six of us. Uh, the other kids are home uh, about every other weekend. So then I do have more. So we are going to keep it at $400 a month for these next two months. Now I do have a pretty good stocked pantry, a pretty good overflow pantry going, and um, we got quite a bit in our freezers. So we will decide in January if that is going to be doable for us to continue doing that as well because one we're saving up for Christmas right now for the next couple months but then we have a lot of expenses coming in the spring for things that we're going to do here. So we will share more of that with you later on though. So that I'm also gonna share with you guys. I'm gonna go once a week to the store, so I will share that with you on Sundays is the goal. Sorry, ice machine going. <laughs> Sunday is the goal to share that with you guys, what we're buying at the store along with them, what we're eating. So today, um, I'm gonna keep it really simple dinner tonight because we actually have, I made bread the other day, about two days ago. And I need to use this up, this homemade bread, and we don't like to waste that. So I'm going to make some stuffed French toast for dinner tonight. And I wanted to share with you guys here. Oh, and we're also going to, let me grab it out of the microwave here. Going to have some sausage as well. I'm going to get this in the oven here in a minute. And we also, I want to share with you the menu for the week. Because I did plan out the menu. I've got this binder here that I've got it all ready to go. I've got a menu right there that I just printed out. I found this template. I really like this one. And I uh, printed it out. So I will just share with you real quick what we are going to have for dinner this week. I thought that I would kind of start each week that way so you kind of know what we're going to have and what we're not going to have. As far as what's going on here at the homestead, I'm going to share that with you guys on the weekends because that is when Charles is really active outside and doing things. Uh, we have a lot going on. Um, during the week between school and everything else. So we're gonna share with you mostly homesteading type stuff on the weekend, along with the what's for dinner going on on the weekend as well. So let's just jump in. Here is our menu for this week. Um, tonight we're gonna do French toast, stuffed French toast and sausage. Uh, keeping it super simple tonight. And then tomorrow night we're gonna do a creamed spinach and chicken over pasta with some hot bacon salad. That is a salad that my grandmother made um, when I was young growing up in New York and I absolutely loved it. So I'm anxious to share that with you. And then we're gonna have some vanilla pie. Now I am gonna be making most everything from scratch over these next couple months. So 
hopefully I can share some good recipes with you guys on that too. Uh, on Thursday, we're going to do soup beans, cornbread, and apple cranberry almond slaw. And we're going to have that. And then on Friday, we're going to have some ravioli and something called a 1905 salad. I haven't made that before. It was just a recipe that looked really good, so I wanted to make that. And as far as the ravioli goes, we're going to make our own pasta and everything, so we'll make it completely from scratch as much as possible. And then we're also going to make a carrot cake that day. And then Saturday, we're going to make French dip on some homemade bread, and we're going to have home fries, and I will either make more coleslaw, or we'll have some of that apple cranberry coleslaw left. We'll just see how that goes. And then on Sunday, we're going to make Big Mac Sloppy Joes on homemade buns, and some homemade onion rings, veggie sticks, and some key lime cookies. So that's the plan for this first week of November. And I hope you guys stick around to see, to see what all we're making. Let's go on and get started with dinner because I'm sure I have talked plenty. I'm going to go on and make the sausage first and get that started in the oven. All right, so for the sausage, I'm just going to bake it at 350 degrees. I will tell you this pork tastes so much better than anything store-bought. We have been so thrilled with this. So I'm just going to make sausage patties, so I'm just going to go on and just cut it into pieces and then just kind of finish forming it onto a patty. Right, then this is just going into the oven. So we are going to make some strawberry French toast. So we're going to start with some strawberry. This will be like the syrup that goes over top. And I have frozen strawberries, so I'm just going to put some in there. I'll just make the whole bag. And I'm going to heat that up. To this, I'm going to add some sugar. I'm going to do about three fourths of a cup. And I'm just going to stir that up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna let this get started. And while that's getting started, I'm gonna put together some cream cheese. Okay, so here I'm just gonna start with some cream cheese. To that, I'm gonna add a little sugar, as well as some vanilla. And I'm just gonna kinda of try and mash this up. In a cup, I'm gonna go on and just mix a little water and cornstarch. And I'm gonna add it to the strawberries once those are warmed up and cooking down a little bit. So I just wanna go on and make this and set it aside.
Alright, next I'm going to go on and start getting the bread ready. So I'm going to make a little bit thicker slices. If you don't have homemade bread, you could do this with French bread. Then I'm going to go in the middle and just kind of slice here. So that way I can put my cream cheese mixture in here. So I'm just going to take a good spoon of that and just kind of put it in there. And then just set that aside. I have a little bit left of this other loaf after making stuffing this many. So one, two, three, four, six pieces. Now I'm going to make some just plain French toast. So if anybody doesn't want it stuffed, they can just have plain. And I'm just going to set this aside. Well, these strawberries are really starting to cook up a little bit. So I'm going to take a masher and just kind of mash it a little bit. starch mixture and just stir that until that gets a little bit thicker you see the reflection of my light here <laughs> That's because I'm using this light over here so I can try and make it not so dark in this kitchen. I have a very dark kitchen. So I've got lights all around me trying to brighten it up for you guys. This is already getting nice and thick. I'm going to turn this heat down. Can you see how thick that's getting? Good and thick. Alright, so this is pretty thick. So I'm going to let this just go on and sit off to the side now and turn the heat off. Clean up my quick bread mess. All right, next I'm going to make the egg mixture. And make sure that I have my chicken bowl here. Uh, we feed the eggshells back to the chickens, crush them up because they are very good for them and then you don't need to buy oyster shell. Because that helps keep their shell nice and hard. That I'm going to add some milk. And some vanilla.
All right, so now I'm just gonna get this pan heating up. I'm gonna put it on high while it heats up. And then I'm just gonna use some butter here to put in the pan. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. Just kind of melt that around. And I'm gonna do about two pieces at a time. So I'm gonna dip it into that egg mixture. And then the other side. I'm also going to sprinkle the top with cinnamon. And I'm just going to put this over here on her pan. Or on a platter. I'm trying to bend it down so you guys can see. That is what it looks like. I'm going to let that cool off inside. It'll be all that cream cheese goodness is on the inside. The last thing I want to do before it's ready is I want to top it with some powdered sugar. And then I'll get one for you here. And that gets topped with this strawberry syrup. And then we'll just kind of cut into it. And that is what it looks like. If you can see the cream cheese in there. You can see there's cream cheese in there. So there's the French toast, sauce, and the strawberry jam. All right, you guys, that is it. We are ready to go eat this deliciousness. <laughs> and we will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully you give this a thumbs up and you're going to enjoy this series that we're doing for November. Bye, everybody. Have a great day and night, wherever you are.